chapter 16. I have told you these things so that you won't fall away, for you will be expelled from the synagogues, and the time is coming when those who kill you will think they are doing God a service. This is because they have never known the Father or me. Yes, I'm telling you these things now, so that when they happen you will remember I warned you. I didn't tell you earlier because I was going to be with you for a while longer. But now I am going away to the one who sent me, and none of you has asked me where I am going. Instead, you are very sad. But it is actually best for you that I go away, because if I don't, the counselor won't come. If I do go away, he will come because I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convince the world of its sin, and of God's righteousness, and of the coming judgment. The world's sin is unbelief in me. Righteousness is available because I go to the Father and you will see me no more. Judgment will come because the prince of this world has already been judged. Oh, there is so much more I want to tell you, but you can't bear it now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not be presenting his own ideas. He will be telling you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. He will bring me glory by revealing to you whatever he receives from me. All that the Father has is mine. This is what I mean when I say that the Spirit will reveal to you whatever he receives from me. In just a little while, I will be gone, and you won't see me anymore. Then, just a little while after that, you will see me again. The disciples asked each other, What does he mean when he says, You won't see me, and then you will see me? And what does he mean when he says, I am going to the Father? And what does he mean by a little while? We don't understand. Jesus realized they wanted to ask him, so he said, Are you asking yourselves what I meant? I said, In just a little while I will be gone and you won't see me any more. Then, just a little while after that, you will see me again. Truly, you will weep and mourn over what is going to happen to me, but the world will rejoice. You will grieve, but your grief will suddenly turn to wonderful joy when you see me again. It will be like a woman experiencing the pains of labor. When a child is born, her anguish gives place to joy because she has brought a new person into the world. You have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice, and no one can rob you of that joy. At that time, you won't need to ask me for anything. The truth is, you can go directly to the Father and ask Him, and He will grant your request because you use my name. You haven't done this before. Ask using my name, and you will receive, and you will have abundant joy. I have spoken of these matters in parables, but the time will come when this will not be necessary, and I will tell you plainly all about the Father. Then you will ask in my name. I'm not saying I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you dearly because you love me and believe that I came from God. Yes, I came from the Father into the world, and I will leave the world and return to the Father. Then his disciples said, at last you are speaking plainly and not in parables. Now we understand that you know everything and don't need anyone to tell you anything. From this we believe that you came from God. Jesus asked, Do you finally believe? But the time is coming, in fact it is already here, when you will be scattered, each one going his own way, leaving me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you all this, so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart, because I have overcome the world.